Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2, English Story The Snow Day Eleanor sat by her window, looking longingly out across her street. She was hoping and dreaming for a snow day. She wanted a day off school. Unfortunately, snow days didn't happen so often in England. Eleanor closed her eyes and crossed her fingers. Maybe if she wished hard enough, she would start to see snowdrops delicately fall from the sky. Eleanor breathed warm air onto the window pane and drew a sad face. She really didn't want to go to school. She loved to see her friends, but longed for the day she could leave and go to college. Not only that, but she hadn't completed some of her homework that was due, and she didn't have the motivation to do it. It was an essay she had to write about Shakespeare. She was never one for English literature, and much preferred to spend her time in the sports hall playing badminton or banging out a tune on her drum kit. She made her way downstairs and looked out of the patio doors onto the garden. The sky was most certainly looking grey and overcast. They looked like snow clouds. She switched on the TV. The news was on. She waited patiently for the weather report. Her parents also hoped for a snow day. They loved to work from home. When Eleanor was ten, they purchased a sledge and still hadn't used it. For the last five years, there had been no snow days. Sometimes there would be a fluttering or a quick shower, but never enough to warrant a day off. Eleanor had always loved the snow. She always preferred to be cold than hot. She hoped to work at a ski resort in the future. She couldn't ski and had never taken lessons, but she would be happy to work in a cafe or a bar and learn on the slopes. She had already found the company where she wanted to work and was saving her spending money to try and make it happen. Eleanor often felt like she was born in the wrong country. She felt like she would be more suited to life in Iceland or Scandinavia. She always longed for winter. Unfortunately, in the UK, that usually meant a lot of rain and wind and not so much snow. Eleanor snuggled up on the sofa as the news finished and the weather report started. She couldn't believe her ears or her eyes as the reporter announced, As you can see here, here and here, we have a cold front approaching us with temperatures as low as minus five and a 95% chance of snowfall in the north, west and southwest regions of the UK, it is advised that you do not travel tonight unless you absolutely must. In celebration, Eleanor's dad made them all a super deluxe hot chocolate. This was his speciality. It was hot chocolate with full fat milk, whipped cream, marshmallows and chocolate sprinkles. They got out their fluffy blankets, put some logs on the fire 
and prepared for the snow to arrive. Eleanor hadn't felt this excited in years. Before settling in for the night, Eleanor went out to check on their rabbits, George and Geoffrey. She moved them over to their hutch in the shed. They'd be warmer in there. She gave them plenty of food, hay and water. If the snow did fall, she would let them play in it. They loved the snow, which always surprised her. It was 6pm and dark. The sky was a mysterious brown colour. The clouds were clearly full of snow. Eleanor was starting to get neck ache from looking up at the clouds so much. She had been in contact with some of her friends and they were all hoping with tightly crossed fingers that they would get at least one snow day off school. Eleanor had a hot bath and read her book. She listened to some relaxing music in the background. She normally hated Sunday evenings, as she knew she had a week of school ahead of her. But that dreaded feeling in her tummy had gone. She got out of the bath, dried, applied her favourite moisturiser and wrapped herself in her snuggly PJs and fluffy dressing gown. She opened the bathroom window in anticipation. Still nothing but the air had a cold bite to it. Come on, Eleanor called out to the sky. She went downstairs and watched TV with her parents while writing up some science notes for school. Eleanor loved to spend time with her parents. Her older brother had left home to work in Scotland, so she cherished the time she spent with her family. She checked the weather on her phone and saw that her brother was in for a lot of snow. She felt jealous. She messaged him and he replied with pictures of the snow falling fast and covering his garden. Maybe I should live in Scotland, Eleanor said to her parents. They always get the snow first. It got to 9pm and still nothing outside. Everything looked much the same. No frost, no rain and no snow. Eleanor packed her school bag and got out her uniform ready for the next day. Her dream of a snow day started to feel like it wasn't going to happen. She cleaned her school shoes and checked she had completed all her homework. Luckily, she still had a couple of days to finish the dreaded Shakespeare task. She got into bed and listened to an audiobook while writing in her diary. She described how frustrated she felt at the lack of snow and how jealous she was of her brother being in Scotland. After she'd finished writing, she put her diary to one side, had one last look out of the window and got back into bed, feeling very deflated. The next morning, she woke with a start as her dad was banging on her door. Eleanor, you might want to get up a bit earlier today. Eleanor frowned and wondered what was wrong. She jumped out of bed and ran downstairs. She stopped in her tracks when she saw, through the patio doors, the back garden was covered in snow, lovely, thick snow the sort of snow that required a day off school. Eleanor was overjoyed. She jumped around the house before putting on her wellies to check her rabbits were okay. She ran around the garden. What better feeling is there than walking on freshly fallen snow? Eleanor found the never-used sledge in the shed 
and got it out ready to ride. As she walked back to the house, still in her PJs, snow started to slowly fall from the sky. She leaned her head back and opened her mouth. She loved to try and catch snowflakes. She started to get cold, so she ran upstairs, got washed, put on her thermals, hat, jumper, jeans and gloves and ran back downstairs again. Her mum and dad were clearing a path so they could get out of the house and head to the park. As they'd woken up early, the park was still quiet. They made their way to the top of the steepest hills and took it in turns to ride the sledge to the bottom. It was so much fun. Eleanor hadn't laughed as much in years, and her parents felt like kids again. After they'd been in the park for an hour, it started to get busier. They headed back home, had porridge and a tea for breakfast, and then went out into the garden to build a snowman. Eleanor may have been 15, but she loved every second of the snow. They called the snowman Simon, and they gave him eyes made from buttons, a carrot nose, and a smile made of pebbles. He wore Eleanor's old blue scarf, and they gave him a hat. They took lots of photographs with Simon and knew they would treasure them forever. By early afternoon, the snow was beginning to slowly melt away as the skies cleared. By evening, Simon was a lump of snow in the middle of the garden. The snow didn't last long but the memories Eleanor and her family created would last forever. Do you like the snow as much as Eleanor? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.